Well, let's get it popping. Our nine overtime game of the week. The Troopers looking to advance to the area round for a second year in a row and jump starts another playoff run. Hard to find a team playing better than the Troopers right now. Seven straight wins entering the postseason. First quarter tied at seven. Evan Minjades up top to Evan Macias puts the Troopers in front. 14 to 7. They would keep the offense rolling from there. This is Minjades to Jake Chernowski does the rest for an Eastwood touchdown. Jason, they got it popping in the first quarter. They sure did. He found so many players. They made plays tonight, and that's why they were so successful. Second quarter, it's Minjades. Basically, the same play, uh, and he goes to uh, Mancia right there for uh, the touchdown. Uh, Eastwood would take a 28-7 lead after that, but San Angelo Central would not go away quietly. Tyler Hill calling his own number for the touchdown. Eastwood led 42-28 at the half. And in the second half, here come the Bobcats even more. Tyree Brawley punching it in to make this a seven-point game. Ed, when things get close in the playoffs, what do you got to do? <laughs> Look, call it. We <laughs> hey, I made a mistake two weeks ago. I said Eastwood was a desperate team. They're not desperate. They're just a dangerous team. I like it. <laughs> not desperate, just dangerous. And they looked it in the fourth quarter. Chinaski going to work on the rushing touchdown. Minjades waving goodbye to San Angelo Central in the fourth. It was 61 to 49, your final at Trooper Stadium. They're headed to the area round for the second year in a row. Let's head over to Trooper Stadium and find Andy Morgan. He is live with our coaches spotlight with the winning head coach, Julio Lopez. Gold ball season in full effect here at Trooper Stadium as we are now joined by Eastwood head coach Julio Lopez. Coach, back-to-back -back by district championships for your program. Uh, what does this one mean to you? Well, first off, congrats to Mark Torres, Pebble Hills. Being able to split and get another one against 2-6-A I think is huge. So congrats to Pebble Hills. This is our seventh in the, in the last eight years. A lot of great people have helped build this to where it's at right now. Back-to-back -back playoff win, second trophy this year. And I'm just really proud of the kids and the coaches and all the people that have contributed to it. Offense at a premium in this one, over 12, over 1,200 yards of total offense. I don't even know if I said that right. 1,200 yards of total offense in this one. What was working for you? It was entertaining for us. I know that much. <laughs> yeah, I mean, everything was working. You know, we had a great game plan. Kids executed it. Coaches did a great job of prepping the kids. You know, we've been playing great defense all year. We knew they were going to come up with, with, with stops when we needed to. But we told the kids, you got to be able to win games in the playoffs a lot of different ways. We had a couple of mistakes and special teams that hurt us. Um, but overall, man, I'm just proud of the, the whole program the coaches, all the families, and we're going to enjoy this one tonight. Coach, congratulations on the win. Thank you. Now joined by Eastwood quarterback Evan Minjares. Eight total touchdowns in this one for Evan. Six through the air, two on the ground. Evan, what was working for you in this entire offense? Just a great performance from you guys. Oh, man. I just, our, our whole team's firing, firing on all cylinders. You know, my line giving me the box that I need to. And uh, my receivers, you know, just my receivers are they're great. You guys made a deep playoff run last season. Does this team have what it takes to make another one? I believe so, yes, sir. Uh, we had, last year had some a great run, and I feel, I feel I believe we have uh, some big shoes to fill, so yes, sir. Yeah. Evan, congratulations on the win. The Eastwood Troopers coming away with a 61-49 to win over the San Angelo Central Bobcats. They'll get Byron Nelson in the area round. For now, let's send it back to you guys in the studio. Thank you, Andy, for all the great insight all season long. We're switching gears.